we're going to talk about some exciting news um, as it relates to RAN uh, solutions and implementations. I think you're, the first thing we're going to talk about is HPE's RAN automation solution, which is exciting because it's all about multi-vendor management, I think, which is tremendously important, solving a big problem for a lot of customers. Let's hear more about it. Right on. No, that definitely uh, tees it up. Uh, HPE just made an announcement for their HPE RAN automation solution. And it's definitely aligning with the ORAN initiatives to you know, provide extra levels of confidence, extra levels of assurance uh, for a carrier to be able to deploy open RAN that goes beyond, you know, the three GPP specs. And this right. is needed, obviously. This is something that you just can't rely on, you know, uh, just the three GPP to, you know, provide all this capability. And what HPE is capitalizing on is the fact when it comes to open RAN implementations and the fact that they have to be aligned with traditional RAN implementations. This is something that's going to take many years. It will be, you know, probably a couple more years before open RAN implementations represent a, a double digit percentage of the overall RAN market, for example. And so that's definitely requires, I think, a purpose built solution that can take advantage of cloud native capabilities and these other emerging capabilities, such as orchestration and so forth, to enable a multi vendor optimization. And that's something that's really limited with the traditional RAN networks. And Open RAN definitely creates this opportunity for more flexibility in these areas. But the reality is it has to also account for the traditional RAN implementations and how to best blend the two in terms of advancing an overall, say, open 5G uh, architecture. Right. So that, I think, is a differentiator for this uh, solution. It also is you know, offering table state capabilities that any solution of this nature has to offer. That is zero touch uh, management capabilities, cloud native design, obviously, and so forth. And so what I think is going to help uh, drive this is that's a key part of uh, HPE's open RAN solution stack. And though uh, that solution is a purpose designed for telco server applications. So this is really definitely taking a strategic view as to how a telco can optimize their open RAN implementations while also doing uh, investment protection for their existing uh, technology. And this includes full cycle support of virtual DU and virtual CU capabilities. There's just no way around that. You definitely need full cycle management of these virtualized disaggregated assets in order to make sure that you're getting optimal uh, performance, but also optimal return on your open RAN investments. And also being able to dynamically configure radio frequency parameters and so forth. And again, this is uh, supporting what can be called SMO, <laughs> Service Management Orchestration Capabilities. Because uh, we that, need uh, another acronym. <laughs> yes, we exactly. Need more, the world we live in. <laughs> <laughs> has complied in that regard. And uh, so hopefully, uh, SMO rollout won't be slow. It'll be you know, definitely something that will uh, receive, uh, I think, uh, broad acceptance amongst you know the major operators and you know the overall uh, 5G ecosystem, including mid-sized operators and so forth. And the final thing that I think is important is that the announcement's also emphasizing, like in the, the Department of Defense initiatives, the role of AI in ML. Uh, right. That is obviously going to be essential uh, in order to automate things like full cycle management, orchestration, etc. You know all of these capabilities that are required for a successful open RAN, let alone an open 5G network implementation, requires the uh, that technology to provide both the automation and also the intelligence to, you know, do things like preventative maintenance, uh, proactive monitoring, and so forth. That right. will be key for uh, these, uh, you know, emerging 5G networks. Right. Absolutely.